from our last session we know that uh, listen and serve method inside HTTP package is the one that we use as a starting point to set up a web server using Golang standard library okay so it's got uh, two arguments so one is the address and the second one is the handler now if you check this method out this handler actually is an interface and that interface has one method in it that is serve HTTP now just for the sake of reference let me copy the interface and paste it over into my main.go file and I'm just gonna comment it out for now okay so as a handler all I need is something that implements this interface handler interface and that means implements this particular method okay so let me start by defining my own type so for example let me say type my web server type okay not a good name but for the sake of example it's okay and I'm just gonna have it as a bool let's say okay you, you could go with int string struct map it's okay I'm just gonna have a random type defined here and then I'm gonna implement this function that is serve HTTP and uh, the first argument is response writer so it's gonna be HTTP dot response writer okay and I'm gonna give it an identifier that is W which is a convention now, because it's a writer uh, WR stands for writer okay and it is inside the HTTP package uh, if you go here so this is inside HTTP package right that is why we have HTTP prefixed here and the second argument is a pointer to the request and by convention you put R dot HTTP and request all right so this is a function and uh, you have to turn this into a method now the method that my web server type will implement so my web server type so now m is an identifier here and voila so we have my web server type which is implementing this interface okay so anything that is of type my web server type is eventually going to be a handler and then I can pass it as a second argument here okay so let me tell you what I'm talking about here so let me declare a variable let's say k which is of type my web server type okay and now I, I'm just declaring it I'm not even initializing it to any values so it is probably set to its default value right now and that that's okay for me that's okay for the example that we are discussing here right now and now I can pass it as a second argument here k so what is kk is of my web server type what is my web server type it is a type of uh, underlying type boolean and it is actually implementing this method so essentially it is also a kind of a handler and that is why I can pass it to this method okay now let me run this code okay so go run main.go and if I come back here to Firefox now this used to be the message before right now if I refresh this okay it still doesn't show anything and that is fine because we still don't have any implementation right but uh, let me do one thing and that is uh, let me use a method called f println and let me just write well hello there okay and this method actually takes a writer as the first argument and an empty interface as the second argument we already have a writer in this method and that is the response writer okay so uh, the identifier for that is w so I'm using w here all right 
and this is the message and this is the one that I want to get printed onto the browser when I access this URL, this endpoint. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to have to exit the process and run it again. And now when I go back here, I refresh the page and I see that message. Well, hello there, right? So I am using W, which is the response writer, to send my message to it. And that's what you see here on the browser console, browser window. All right, uh, let me show another example. So I think this time I'll go with fprintf which is for formatting and uh, the first argument is going to be write it again the second argument is going to be my string the request is let's say and this time I'm going to have request request which is part of this method here being printed onto the screen right after well hello there Okay, so let's save it, cancel, run again, and if you go back here, yes, you see the whole request. So this is a very simple example. It is as simple as get. So this is your hello world implementation of Go Web Server. Okay. Uh, we will start exploring now how to handle the request object, what are the things that are inside of it, and how we can use uh, Response Writer to generate an HTML, how we can use it to generate a JSON response. Uh, but essentially, this is as simple as it can get. And now we are going to start building up on this. So I'll see you in the next session. Till then, bye. Thank you.